thousand meters altitude, it's really difficult to even breathe and walk around. But despite the inhospitable conditions for humans to work in, it's the perfect setting for one of the world's most powerful telescope arrays. ALMA, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, currently consists of 20 working antennas. But once complete in 2013, it will boast 66, spread right across the Chadnanto Plain in Chile's Atacama Desert. While conditions at 5,000 metres altitude are just too demanding to construct the antenna, the hard work is done back down at 3,000 metres at the Operational Support Facility, where the antenna arrive in different parts from all over the world. Once assembled, the 90-tonne antenna are transported up to the high site, where they are connected to the rest of the array. This high desert location provides exceptional atmospheric conditions for making millimetre and submillimetre wavelength observations. At three miles high, there is less atmosphere to distort observations and minimal water content that would otherwise absorb the stellar signals from space. These long wavelengths allow astronomers to study extremely cold objects, such as the dense clouds of cosmic dust and gas from which stars and planets form, as well as very distant objects in the early universe and the relic radiation left over from the Big Bang. The first weekend in October 2011 marked the start of the science operations phase for this powerful new telescope array and the release of its first image of the colliding antennae galaxies. The new ALMA image reveals exactly where the dense gas clouds are that are still in the process of forming more stars, a product of the collision and showing regions that are invisible at other wavelengths.